As a parliamentary representative for Grosley and the Minister of Responsibility for Youth Development and Sports, I treasure the opportunity to wish all St. Lucians here and abroad a Merry Christmas. The Christmas period always provides a natural time to take a step back from the hustle and bustle of daily life and reflect on the happenings of the closing year. Although we continue to wrestle with global shocks, we have not lost sight of our mission to ensure that young persons have the opportunities and access that they need when they need it to grow, learn, achieve, and transition into healthy and happy adults. 2023 was declared the Year of the Youth by the Commonwealth Heads of Government. It was a year dedicated to youth-led action for sustainable and inclusive development. Given one of the key focal areas being peaceful coexistence, we found it most fitting to embark on a local theme, empowering our youth for peace, unity, and a safe society. Now, several initiatives and activities were undertaken throughout the year to inculcate knowledge, skills, and practices in young persons which embodied this theme. Unemployment has been one of the main issues affecting our young people. Hence, the ministry organized job fairs in several communities to link young persons with employment opportunities. They also received entrepreneurship training, building their practical skills, and educating them on the basic requirements of starting and running a business. Now, the development of the Skill 758 app is also a testament to the government's effort to boost employment among our young people and improve their standards of living. It is my hope that the Youth Service Corps will be expanded so that many, many more young people will receive more opportunities in employment. Now, given the scourge of violent crimes in St. Lucia, the ministry has partnered with USAID to implement the Youth Resilience Inclusion and Empowerment Program which is a youth-centered system strengthening activity based on the public health approach to violence prevention. 135 youth from the districts of Ancillary, Grosley, and Viewfort spent time building life skills with their peers through sports, song, dance, games, and the arts in three non-residential camps over the Easter holidays, which was dubbed Youth Easter Connect. Now, throughout the year, the youth were provided with several opportunities for self-expression and avenues to display their skills. Youth Parliament was one such event where participants gained expert training in public speaking and parliamentary procedures leading up to the event. A Youth Talent Expo was held at the Derek Walker Square in celebration of International Youth Day, which brought together young persons island-wide who performed in song, instrument, and spoken word. Youth Month provided the opportunity for freedom of expression against crime and violence as young persons gathered with their respective social groups, their clubs and councils to host a walk for peace. I am exceedingly proud of the performance of our nation's youth who won four of the seven awards at the 2023 Caribbean Youth Awards, including the 2023 National Youth Council Award. I must also congratulate all the awardees at the just concluded National Youth Awards especially Ms. Rejan Montout, who captured the covetous title of Youth of the Year. The significant investment of this administration in the sporting landscape of St. Lucia has yielded tremendous dividends in 2023. St. Lucia as a nation employed, in fact, they enjoyed unprecedented success across sporting disciplines and levels. National representative teams registered victories in volleyball, cricket, boxing, golf, and table tennis. In track and field, our athletes performed outstanding at the Carifta Games, obtaining one of the highest medal counts in the history of the Games. On an individual level, Julian Alfred, she placed St. Lucia on the map as she was the most revered athlete with bright hopes of winning an Olympic medal. This remarkable feat required the contribution and collaboration of all stakeholders in the sporting fraternity. Through the contribution of coaches, parents, supporters, policymakers, and athletes, St. Lucia was able to surpass the long-standing record of several sporting titles won since 1987. I urge our sports stakeholders to continue to take your place in the development and the advancement of sports in St. Lucia. Now, I must single out my constituents of Grosley, who have remained steadfast and committed towards the development of the community and its people. Government have heard your pleas and we are garnering all our resources to bring you comfort and joy. Through community participation and the vision of this government, several projects were undertaken or completed this year in the Grosley constituency. Recently, we witnessed the groundbreaking ceremony of a site commonly known as Simple Park, 
where a recreational park will be built. In addition, other notable projects and activities include the commencement of the Grosley Police Station, the commencement of the Boisdewage Water Project, the Boseju Road Rehabilitation, the Kazaba Road Rehabilitation, the Massad Cap Estate Road Rehabilitation, donation of an ambulance to the Grosley Police. One thing is for certain though, is that our successes this year were only possible with the support and trust that you place in this government. It rests with me, therefore, to thank you for your support throughout the year, and I pledge my continued commitment to the development of youth and sports in St. Lucia. We must also spare thought at Christmas for those in need, those who are less fortunate, and those who have been impacted by the many unfortunate events that life can bring. I am incredibly proud of our people who have demonstrated resilience during these unprecedented times. Still, I'm also looking forward to 2024 to see how we can increase our efforts to ensure that our beloved nation's youth not only survive, but thrive. I offer my sincere wishes for a great festive season. Let me convey season's greetings to the management and staff of the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports and its satellite agencies. Happy holidays to everyone in the Grosley constituency. Compliments for a joyous Christmas season, St. Lucia. I wish you every blessing for the coming year. Thank you.